Okay, this video is going to be very, very different. In this video, I'll be ranting about the Chaos Galaxy format and how to fix it and why I really hate Shias and Sindian right now. Uh, yeah, this is hopefully, I'm just going to make this a fast video because I don't have a lot of time and I'm very busy with my own life. But yeah, this is going to be a video on the Chaos Galaxy format and how to fix it. Starting off. Octorius is too powerful. Uh, it does way too much, very high stars, way too much power because of its stupid ability of gaining 80 stars, uh, sorry, 80 attack per star, and then usually you put in a cloud cell and it becomes like 800, 480, very bad. Uh, has to go. There's no way this card should ever exist. And the fact that it's basically a free 8 star creature because of its ability of once per turn gain stars equal to this creature's stars. Yeah, this card has to go. Next, Lightbeam Rider. Yeah, so we just want to straight up destroy Sindian. Uh, but Lightbeam Rider, 310, 270 for 3 stars is a big no. Uh, Lionel is a thing, so this is just a free 3 star creature. And it's cosplayed, so no counterplay at all, no erratic void. Uh, and once per turn, you make your opponent's creature lose 200 power and health, potentially more. Uh, less likely less, because if you realize the Sinian ability means you have to attack the Light Beam Rider, and you can't attack the Lionel. So, yeah, this card has to go. Uh, very, very broken. Polygram Arena of Shape Knights. And yes, these are considerations, but I think this card does a lot. Uh, add one killed six star or lower Shape Knight. Definitely a no. <laughs> uh, I hate I hate recur the fact that recursion is just a thing in the archetypes now. So Polygram, big no. But uh, if you're gonna ban Octorius, half sorry half ban Octorius. Polygram can probably stay, uh, but yeah, it's still a pretty strong card. Moltown, um, I will say that Undying Blue Flame recently got half banned, so maybe Moltown's still okay, but this is not exactly a problematic card, but something to just look out for because this card is strong, but not overpowered. So, yeah. Next, some unbannings maybe. Uh, Phantasmal Spoons, I think it's okay. It's It helps the game be more consistent. It helps you do what you want to do with the game, like with your game plan and stuff, because you're actually ga getting the card you want. And the biggest issue right now, I feel, is just being a top deck game. It just sucks. I, I don't like that Chaos Galaxy is just top deck over top deck over top deck and there is a limitation to this card of playing only being able to play one creature in that turn so there is sort of like something stopping it like you can't just put, put this into shape knights and it'll work because lionel won't work with this card so i think phantasmal spoons is okay uh, definitely not two copies though, uh, one copy is good enough. Relhex Mine, no way this is a half ban card. I I just don't see why this is half ban. This lessens your deck size and makes you more consistent, sure. But you're wasting two deck slots that could potentially be more removal, like Angry Totem or something, or uh, Comet to fight against the permanent resource decks. So there's nothing wrong with this card. Plus, like, Monument to Creation exists and is being played right now. So nah, this card this card doesn't need to be half banned. Yeah, it, it can it can come off the ban list. Uh Eratus. So Shape Knight Lionel. If you realize in these two cards, uh actually just this card. But Lionel in general is a problem. Uh, 
one star 10 10 doesn't really matter i mean it, it can be played on turn one so if it, this is in your starting hand it's just okay it's a body uh but yeah its ability is just way too broken and you can't half ban it because if you half ban it people just play universe boundary and then kill it and you have the same issue or use triangulon and then you have the same issue again so you have to change the ability to only play Sin from only play Sindian to only play Shape Knights. That's a way to fix it, uh, but still not the best because you because players want still want to play Shape Knights anyway, so there isn't that big of an issue. Sure, you can't play Light Beam Rider, but why are you even gonna play Light Beam Rider if you're playing the Shape Knight deck, right? So. The next best thing is paying two stars to free play it. I think this is the best way to fix it because if the fact is you have to pay two stars before you gain the four stars. So you have to keep keep two stars up all the time. Uh, so yeah, this, it sort of helps. And in the worst case scenario, you're working with less stars. So yeah i think the second ability is a good way to fix it uh next these planets need a buff like come on man <laughs> barrow has not seen play in a single meta ever since like 2022 maybe even uh earlier than that and i just want to see this played again uh biggest issue right now is just being a one for one deck you play death to flip it attack but then it will just die so barrow needs some help there uh, probably some card advantage cards maybe uh but yeah roca the worst it has been the worst planet uh since the start of the game uh i think the way to fix it would be to go in the eye of evilness direction uh eye of evilness is you kill a revealed card in your opponent's hand so that's the sort of direction I want to see Roka go in because Roka is meant to be a control deck that disrupts your opponents. So I think Roka probably wants more effects like Eye of Evilness. So yeah, I think that's that, that's a good direction for Roka, but yeah, we'll see about that. Teclor, um, when this <laughs> when this planet got released, everyone realized that it was worse than Roka because looking at your own stuff uh, and not doing anything about it is just the worst effect I've ever seen on a planet card so how do you fix it? Uh, errata the planet ability of changing the top two cards uh, probably just looking at, at the top two rearranging them or something like that I think that just fixes Teclar just by doing that if not uh actually not if not it definitely needs more cards very small card pool right now teclar needs more support needs like a full mate set for teclar not just a planet i'm not just talking about planetary collection it needs like a full set dedicated to the planet so yeah polysium uh pretty interesting one but i think polysium is good uh, it doesn't really need a buff, just a slight issue with it is uh, it's very card disadvantage. Uh, maybe that's balanced, but I, uh, I just feel like Polysium's in a really tough spot right now competing with Shape Knights and Blue Flames. So maybe it needs a small buff of a creature that draws a card, maybe? Or a creature that searches for a specific big creature so that could potentially help uh, not too sure though uh, Gaios I think Gaios is like wants a buff it, it wants it but it doesn't need it I, I think it's balanced it has always been doing what it wants to do so which is just playing small creatures combo doing certain combos and stuff and then uh, just working together in harmony with the small creatures 
So I think Gauss is okay. Uh, Solomancer got a recent buff with this Guardian. So yeah, uh, Gauss is fine. So generally what we need is Planetary Collections, Roka, Sindel, Teclar, Gaios. Those four planets really want the Planetary Collection right now because they just can't compete, uh, except Sindel. I think Sindel can still compete with the current meta game. Uh, a new set that provides support for decks to keep up with archetypes like Shape Knights and Blue Flames. So basically give these something give these shape nice and blue flames uh that's a direction i can go in but yeah um yeah if, if it's not that then better counterplay for broken archetypes but i'm not sure how anyone's gonna do that chain like archetype denial is very bad in chaos galaxy which is a game that wants to play with archetypes and supports archetypes in general so probably the bad decision here um yeah probably can can just scratch this off but in general just buff the other planets so it can compete with shade knights and blue flames uh and maybe a fan set i i think fan set is good uh it will help the game continue and Fans know what cards are needed, so yeah, fan set is is a good direction. I think we definitely should make one. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Uh, I had to make it fast because I don't have a lot of time on my hands. And be sure to comment your thoughts down below on what you think of the current Chaos Galaxy format. What should really be banned and what really should be unbanned or is this video just very very wrong i i don't know uh just comment your thoughts down below so i can uh, read them and figure out whether i was right whether i was close to being right or whether i was just straight up wrong uh hope to see you guys in a potential future video and yeah see you guys in the next one goodbye